Hmm. Okay, everybody, it's a tree. The weed you can get at the smoke shops, the legal weed that gets you more stone than regular weed. You gotta hold it in though. They even got blueberry flavor. I got they're called King Crypto Hut. They're Hush, um, Chronic. They've got all these different names for it at the smoke shop, but um, it gives you the munchies too. <laughs> I got fake teeth, I got fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth. <laughs> and I smoke fake weed, I smoke fake weed, and I smoke fake weed. <sighs> okay, so, anyhow though, seriously, I want to talk about one of the big problems we have with the reptilians. And one of the big problems we have in the world is the way people, whether they're human or not, feel about themselves and how we make them feel about themselves um, according to how they look. The reptilians have a real complex about being ugly, they feel ugly, and they know that we think they're ugly because when they did try to, when they did appear here in their natural form throughout time, guess who were the bad guys? <laughs> we've all done whatever, but still, humans have been real pricks too. You know, we hurt them because, and almost, you know, would have annihilated them if they had not had to dodge our bullets because of the way they looked. Reptilians inhabit the human body because, well, you want to pinpoint it because they're cold-blooded and they want to be warm, and it feels good to be warm. And then there's a, monk, a bunch of other reasons too, but still, if you have to pinpoint it down to one reason why they prefer being in the human body rather than, rather than their own skin is because they're cold-blooded and they hate to be cold. They freaking hate it. Um, But the way they with the way they look, okay, let's theoretically say there was a whole bunch of really dippy hippie peace loving reptilians that lived on a reptilian planet that was like a bunch of hippies when nobody hurt anybody or ate people. They weren't like that. They were nice reptilians. But they looked the same as the reptilians. Theoretically speaking. They might be, you know. Um but okay, so say that something happened to their world so they had to bail or some they wanted to go on vacation and came here to earth or they had to live here well actually let's say it, because this is basically what happened their world was destroyed and so let's say their world was destroyed and they had no choice but to come here and live on our world um and the world that is destroyed that was their world they could still be in and live in but it's a hell for them the world becoming their own living hell their own living hell in their own world the reptilian and this is really what has happened, okay, that did happen, and that is what's good, because the reptilians hate being, if they're not in the human body, then they're in this other dimension, which is, Pandora told me it's ice cold, it's freezing there, and it's dark, but this reptilian that I talked to, my Master Mason's last time said, he was in the third, I mean, thermic, excuse me, the thermic realm, which is really hot. I'm thinking that that is a tell, well, because the stratus, or, the Luxor in Las Vegas, Nevada, the tip of the light, you know, the brightest light in the world is, and it's also depicted on the dollar bill, the pyramid with the rays coming out of it, that's the brightest light in the world, and it's a talisman, it's a Illuminati talisman, and when they push the human out of their body, when they inhabit them, they store them in talismans, and that's one talisman, and Draken told me that when he's, when they're in their, in Pandar too, when they're in their reptilian form, they can be hurt, but they don't hurt. Like a snake can crawl up on a heater and burn itself up, trying to keep warm, but not know it's burning itself up because it can't feel the pain. So, 
you know, they can be hurt and be killed, but they, it's harder than to kill us a bit, and, but they can't feel pain. They can be hurt, but they don't hurt. But Draken told me that when they're disembodied, um, like, you know, because Draken was always being put in punishment, especially since he was new me, he'd be put in the he was put through all kinds of torture and punishment in the physical body he was in my master mason's body and then even after he was taken out of the body um he was stored you know i got a letter from him like the day before he was removed you know and he's like well it looks like another long stretch in the abyss he called it you know or i call it, but he told me there's different types of prisons though that they are played there's different types of prisons like the luxor is a talisman the um, crystals can be talismans, the, um, but the hell is really, well the reptilians, in their, in their fourth dimension, their natural world, their world, their natural world that they are in without the human body, not being in a prison, like a lot of them are in prisons, prisms, prisons, or pr talisman, a lot of them are uh, trapped in uh, other places, but the, re the realm, like Pendar, when the Baron's body inhabited that he died, you know, he for a while was stuck in the. Well, he called it the fourth dimension, and but he wasn't in a prison by the queen. The queen didn't put him there or nothing. He just that's just where his body naturally went. His reptilian body in his solid reptilian form, there with a whole bunch of other reptilians that are disembodied, and they. He told me it was freezing cold there. Hated they hated it was so so cold. He hated to be cold. Oh, and then, um, and dark, pitch black. But then Draken told me that the Luxor, when they get put in there, that one, the the, the brightest light in the world, you know, and they're, when they're under punishment, they get put there, which is where I'm un, I've been under the impression that the humans are put when they're pushed out of the human. When they're, the human is pushed out of its body while the reptilian inhabits it. Those that have that compatible aura, aura that the reptilians call the black aura, then they are stored in the human souls that have been pushed out of their body are stored in the Luxor in Las Vegas, Nevada somehow that prism, those lights, that energy whatever it is, however they did it's a talisman a talisman that movie The Dark Crystal really got me thinking about it I'm going to have I wish I could watch it again I only got half of it uploaded because Jennifer bit, wanted it bit. well anyhow but I need to get that movie somehow but, but, um I want to finish watching it. it. Seemed like it had a lot of blues clues in there, but okay. So anyhow, I was like, going to the reptilians. They hate to be cold, and they hate to be ugly. And the way that, like Pendar, you know, like he used to get really worried sometimes, you know, like afraid that I wouldn't love him because of the way he looked, thinking that I would run away. I've got it in a lot of the letters, which I still need to read to you. I still have almost 3,000 letters to read to you from Pendar and the Queen. Right now, I'm, the ones that I went through, I got a lot of the letters from the Queen. Some of them, a few re letters I've read online, but if you guys, I don't know, I guess I could. Why not? Might as well put it out there. <laughs> Getting off track again. Fake fingernail weed, fake fingernail weed. Oh, it's not fake fingernail weed, it's fake fingernail teeth. And then fake weed. It's like, it's like fingernail weed. <laughs> okay. So, the people, even if they're not reptilian. Okay, where was I going? Okay, so we got the reptilians that we're theoretically going to imagine that they're hippie reptilians that are really nice and really cool and they're healers and magicians and wizards but or Christians, whatever you want them to be, that makes them be right as far as the way you think that they should act, what they should do. Imagine that their world, something happened and then they had to come here and live. Okay, even if they were peace-loving hippie reptilians, how would the humans treat them? Would they let them, would, they, would you, would the humans let them live here in peace, or would they try to capture them or hurt them or exploit them or destroy them or pervert them or whatever? I think the reptilians do what we teach them. I think that they bounce off of us, like when they absorb the human, they absorb their personality and their when they inhabit them, you know, and they're... Okay, I'm getting off track here. <laughs> uh, so, how would you treat them? How would you treat them? 
now, okay, and then put yourself back a long time ago, how would you have treated them then? Well, before, throughout time, when there was enough energy, the reptilians were able to manifest here in their reptilian form, in a constant, and um, humans almost destroyed them, would have destroyed them. Humans were, the humans would not love them. The reptilians, what they really want, besides being warm, is they want love. They, and they're evolving, and we're all, we all want that, but love has been so perverted that we always connect it to being something that's weak and makes us vulnerable, which makes us weak, which makes us sitting ducks or whatever. Anyhow, I'm getting off track. Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't smoke this. Maybe I should. I know. <laughs> so much unprocessed emotions I have. Back on track again. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm such a fucking loser. I'm such a fuck up. I'm such a waste. I'm such a freak. <laughs> a freak. I know the way I look, especially since I've lost my teeth. There's many, many reasons you should not see methamphetamine, but one reason is because it will rot your teeth out. <laughs> it did. Um, the feeling ugly and not feeling beautiful. Now, I don't even fantasize about sex anymore, or having any orgasm, anything. I don't even think about it because I will not think about any guy because that poor guy, if he knew that I was thinking about him, being as hideous as I am, then he'd be like, ooh, you know, so that makes me feel embarrassed and ashamed, so I don't even think about it. But the reptilians feel ugly. They feel ugly. They feel ugly. And so when there was enough energy for them to manifest here in their physical reptilian form in a constant they still, if they, because nothing, th th this is really what happened. Their world, they could not survive it there anymore, live there at least comfortably, so they had to be here whether they wanted to or not. They had to make this their home. So if we wouldn't accept them because of the way they looked, even though these have been bloodthirsty reptilians, still they're evolving into the hippie reptilians. But um, So what choice would they have? Okay, but they're really smart, super smart with numbers and science and math and everything they're really really intelligent plus they have their memory of thousands and thousands of years intact like when the body they have it dies and they go into another one they take all the memories with them and each memory the reason that okay each memory they download they download our memories life after life they got it in the mainframe computer which is the computer which has something to do with the 666 you know which has to do with them um, the mind of God so that then they would have to be here, but in order to be here, they couldn't be here the way they looked. So they had to hide. Be as smart as they were and are, and as brilliant. Then, see, I'm talking like theoretically, like there, if there was reptilians from a hippie planet, and but I'm talking the real reptilians and what happened. But I'm trying to get you to look at them in a different way without being bloodthirsty creatures. Try to think of them as hippie people, nice ones. So you can think about how you would treat them then, if it would be any different because of the way they look. Um, so by inhabiting the human body, they learned how, because they're so smart and so smart about all kinds of stuff, they learned how to inhabit the human body. I don't know how, how long they've known how to do that, but they had to hide. So they've been walking around amongst us all this time, all this time, all since the beginning of time. Well, at least Adam and Eve, the snake in Genesis was reptilian. Hang on, I'll be back. I'm going to keep the flow going if you don't mind. Fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail weave. 